Nice. All right, boys, today we're gonna take a look at the starting weapons from Mechanic, another part in our Escape from Tarkov beginner's guide. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. First up is the TT pistol, 7.62 by 25 TT runner that you can pick up from Mechanic. And you can pick this up with some wires and some caps. All right, guys, remember to drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button, definitely help out the channel. All right, so that is the TT Brunner. Next up, you can pick up the Glock 17 uh, for some euros, but for the most part, when you start off in the game, you don't have any euros and you don't have any conversions yet. So we will check this out when we pick up the other Glock 17 below. All right, next up is the AKM 7.62 by 39 assault rifle the T-Ops class. All right, so you can get a trade-in or you can barter for this weapon using weapon parts, WD-40, the small kind, and a phased rate element, and that'll help you get the AKM T-Ops. Now remember, if there are some items that are grayed out on the weapon, go ahead and inspect them. You do get experience for that, and it'll bump up your level so that you can get two level five as quickly as possible so that it will unlock the flea market. Now this weapon is pretty sleek. It comes with a silencer and it also has a thermal scope on it as well. So if you pick up this weapon, you'll get yourself a thermoscope, silencer, and a few other modifications that are on this weapon. Next weapon up is the Colt M4A1 5.56 by 45 assault rifle space edition. You can trade in two Bitcoins and three GP coins for this weapon. Now this one's a pretty nice weapon, it's pretty sleek. Comes with a larger magazine and a thermal scope as well. This is the space trooper edition. All right, well, next up is the Glock 17 9x19 pistol, Tac 3. This one, you can trade in three cowboy hats for this one. It has an increased mag size, so you can hold up to 50 in that magazine. Pretty nice. Now, we'll say that once you unlock the flea market, you will be able to purchase these magazines and these weapons, uh, so you won't have to go through the mechanic. However, they will be a little bit more expensive because the other traders in the game, human traders, will be wanting their markup. Now, there's also another Glock 17 that is available. However, it's missing the upper receiver, so you have to purchase that separately to get this gun working. So, it is purchasable for rubles, so you can spend rubles on this one. All right, next up is the MP133 12 gauge shotgun tactical edition. You can trade in three pliers. Uh, I believe the, those are the elite pliers. So if you find them in raid, you can trade it in to get this particular shotgun as well. It is equipped with a flashlight and some other amenities on this weapon. All right, so if you happen to find a roller in the game, you can pick up a submachine gun 19 by 01, the Vityaz. SN 19 by 19 Senate. This weapon has a lot of mods on it already that basically increase the ergo and reduce the overall recoil on the weapon. All right, if you find a Bitcoin in the raid, you guys can trade that in for an HK MP 7A1 4.6 by 30 submachine gun, part of the SEALS edition. So this already has uh, a couple of good optics and some red dots, good modifications on this weapon already. So it'll come out of the box, ready to be put to work. And last but not least, we have the SIG MPX 9 by 19 submachine gun MQB. If you can trade in some DVDs, UV lamps and weapon parts, that will allow you to get this weapon out of the box. It uses the nine by 19 ammo that you can pick up from mechanic but once you unlock the flea market you'll be able to pick up that rip ammo that'll be able to just shred players all right now that i've picked up all of the weapons it's time for us to get some ammo the tt pistol uses 7.62 by 25 millimeter tt fmj 43 ammo that you can pick up from prepper you can also pick up the tt akbs ammo from prepper as well 
Once you get the ammo, you can go ahead and pull out your magazine out of the pistol and then you can load your ammo into the magazine and also load one of the rounds into the chamber so that you can have instead of eight, nine rounds. You can also buy the 7.62 by 39 mm PS ammo from Prepper as well. This goes into the AKM 7.62 by 39 assault rifle T-Op. So once you get the ammo, you can go ahead and pull out the cartridge and or pull out the magazine and then load the ammo into the magazine and then put one into the chamber as well. Next up is our Colt M4A1, which uses five 0.56 by 45 ammo which is the m855 and we can pick those up from peacekeeper uh, that is for the space trooper uh, rifle once again we will take the magazine out we'll load up the ammo into the magazine and then put one round into the chamber so that we can have a total of magazine total plus one in the chamber and next up is the Glock 17 9x19 pistol. It's going to use the 9x19 PST GZH ammo. We can pick that up from Mechanic. And once again, we'll go ahead and load up the magazine and one in the chamber as well. All right, that takes us to the MP133 12 gauge shotgun. You can either use the 12 by 77 millimeter buckshot or the 12 by 70 lead slug. And you can pick these up from Propor or skier, uh, I'll go ahead and just pick it up from Propor, and then I will load up the magazine and put one in the chamber. This is the standard way that you wanna load your weapon because you'll always get at least one extra shot uh, in your weapon. All right, and now we're to the submachine gun, 19 by 01 Vityaz. This one uses 19 by 19 millimeter PST GZH ammo. And I usually pick these up from Mechanic, so I'll go ahead and buy some, and then I'll load up the magazine and chamber around. And now we're to the HK MP 7A1. This uses 4.6 by 30 millimeter Action SX that we can purchase from Mechanic. We can go ahead and take this ammo, load it up into the magazine once again, and then chamber another round. So you'll kind of rinse and repeat this process uh, for all of your weapons. Later on, once you're able to purchase your weapons or your ammo from the flea market, you'll be able to upgrade to better ammunition. And lastly, we are at the SIG MPX 9x19 submachine gun. So this one uses 9x19 mm PST GZH ammo. Once again, I will purchase this from Mechanic. I will load it up into the magazine and chamber around. And at this point, we can now start some firing tests. All right, so here we are at the firing range. First up is gonna be the TT pistol. All right, pretty cool. So not that, not too much of a kick. All right, nice. Let's switch it out and use our AKM 7.62 by 39 assault rifle t -op edition. Let's go to the range. So as you can see with this one, it already includes a thermal sight and it also has another sight, has like a little red dot sight as well. One of those um, actives. Guys, remember to drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, that supports the channel. All right, so let's go ahead and fire this weapon. So pretty nice out of the box, not too much of a kick. So not too much of a vertical recoil there. Looks like the shot to land where you place it. Nice. All right, let's try the other optic. All right, so using the reflex sight, seems nice. Definitely more of a kick from a distance. All right, out of ammo. Okay, let me go ahead and do full auto now. All right, not too bad. Let's go ahead and switch out for the Colt M4A1, 
5.56 Alright, right now I am on single fire. Lots of ammo. Wow. Good magazine capacity. Alright, trying to reflex sight out. Looks good. Nice. All right, let's switch to full auto. Wow. Okay, let's switch it up to the Glock 17, nine by 19. All right, let's check out the MP-133 12-gauge shotgun tactical. All right, let's use the submachine gun 19 one bit yards all right this one has a reflex sight as well looks good Got that little circular not that much recoil at all and right now I have it on single fire it's full auto it's on single fire all right, I'm gonna test it out on full auto All right, time to switch it out for the HK MP7A1 using the 4.6 by 30 Action SX. All right, and here's our full auto test. All right, now it's time to use our last weapon, the SIG MPX 9x19. All right, so this weapon has two optics, a scope, long range, and then a reflex sight as well. Uh, I can barely see the dot on the reflex sight. All right, let's try this out. Wow. Very little movement, very little recoil. For the most part, it's tagging right where I hit it. I'm not even breathing right now, so I'm not, I mean, I'm not holding down the shift key. Nice. Wow, that's a lot of kick. I think I prefer the single fire. All right, so for this site, it's pretty good. I'll check it out with full auto. All right, not as bad, not too bad. All right, so that's it. Those are all the weapons that are available from Skier. Usually the AKM 7.62 by 39 
and the submachine gun 1901 vityas are pretty much always sold out so if you don't hit these like right in the beginning or try to get them right in the beginning for the trades they'll be gone otherwise guys these are nice weapons out of the box if you can find the trade or barter items that you can utilize to get the weapons they are good to go once you unlock the flea market though you can purchase the base weapons and then modify to your heart's content guys that's it for me i'll see you in another video and i'm out